Hello everyone and welcome to Gospel Girl Works. My name is James and today I'll be working on Bosnport again. This time I'll be doing the uh, rest of the greenery, the trees, the shrubs, the bushes and also longer tufts of grass with some more little bits of products which I've got. I've also been working on, uh, well if you remember there's a stonework back here which I was modelling in polyfiller. I've painted that and it looks it, it looks quite good. I may need touch stuff here there. Uh, I've also done a uh, access road or uh, where the signal box will live. Uh, that's going over where the good sh uh, good shed is. Uh, I can say that a bit later. Uh, I've also done another thing to lay out just to improve maintenance and all that. Not, ma uh, not really what I wanted to do, but I said it improves maintenance and uh, reliability. So I I had to do it. But um, anyway, I'll just show you all the bits which I bought. Uh, one thing which I have realised which I could have done is buy some flowers. But I forgot to do that, but I can always add that later on. Anyway, bought some tree ounces. There's about uh, 114 deciduous uh, trees. So, using that. Uh, the reason I'm using that is, um, was it? I did used to use the, was it that box? No, tree pack which wouldn't seen it used to do, the ones that you know, comes with little twigs and stuff like that. Uh, I've used that before, they looks rather nice, however they're very delicate and they break very easily so I wasn't all that impressed. Uh, I've also got some more foliage cl uh, clumps and clusters, so in two different colours, so a bit more variety. Uh, I've got all my hedges and stuff like that, all wrapped up in their bags and also for the uh, tufts of grass, I'm going to be using 4mm static grass, using my static grass applicator to make um, using little blobs of glue, you know, all lined up and that lot, I'll be making those like, so little clumps of longer grass which I can just dot around loud, just to add a bit more variety other than the usual 2mm uh, grass. But um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it to explain what I'm doing. Uh, I will be tidying up here, there and everywhere for no ballast and all that lot, mainly because it still needs a bit cleaning up here, there, like that bit. But um, other than that, it's mostly on about doing the grass work, well, not grass work, the um, no hedges and stuff like that, and trees. So I'll get crack, no cracking on with that. So here we go. Just remembered, I'd also be tidying up, know where the um, embankment walls are, you know, at the bottom, I'll be cleaning up that. Well, say clean up, I'll be hiding that with some hedges as well. Just remember, I know I forgot, I was, uh, so it's a hot day and my mind's gone everywhere. And um, <laughs> I'm not all that good with hot days. <laughs> but uh, yes, I'll be tidying that, all that lot up with hedges to hide where the glue's kind of gone. So, yes. <laughs> anyway, see you in a bit. Right, here we are at the embankment. Uh, not too sure if you can see, but around the bottom of these uh, the bases, the paper has gone a bit um, funny coloured because that's where the glue kind of ended up touching it. Yeah. But uh, yes, yeah, so I intend to hide it using some strategic placing of you know, greenery. So, all I'm going to do pretty much is get uh, some PVA glue. Dab it into place. Uh, I'll just use this one for now. Something like that. Pop that somewhere. And just get a bush or something like that. I'll just use tweezers just to make sure it's in the right place. And maybe a little bit more. Get some of this. What is this? Uh, I think it's underbrush or something like that. You can just pop that slightly in there and try and get off the tweezers. It wants to stay in there. There we go. Maybe, maybe using your finger does tend to help. But uh, yeah, it just hide up where the glue's can't, but the uh, yeah where the glue originally damaged all this. 
and it just makes things look a bit nicer as well it breaks up the sameness unfortunately you do end up picking up some of the uh, ballast but like I said we're just hiding it with some bushes and stuff there's that bit not too sure but uh, yes I'll just quickly show you Ooh, I'm being very careful try and get the it does now look a bit better yeah I'll just zoom in so you can see yeah you can see this is where it's going a bit funny so so that will look a bit more like this yeah, like I said, it does break up the uh, the join line, so in my opinion, it does look a bit better. Well, much better. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this and turn off the light because it is melting. <laughs> These uh, little lights I've got do pump out a fair bit of heat, and it's already a hot day, so I don't want to be melting. <laughs> so yeah, I'll catch in a bit, and I'll show you the end result. And here we are with pretty much all the foliage done down here. Uh, can't quite get any good angles at the moment, but uh, so we all agree it does look a bit better than uh, well than the paper running. So I'm hoping I didn't go too overboard with it. It does look a bit overboard at the moment here. That's because it was a bit. Um, Notable, more notable here. So, yeah, there's a few bits where I still have to fix up, but um, yes, well, I'll get on with doing them bits and then we'll go on to doing the uh, well, the hedges on the other parts of the layout. So, see you in a bit. all the bushes done for now. I may add a few more later but um, yeah just gonna let this all dry first. Uh, I don't record over here because it's just an awkward spot to record really. Oh. <laughs> but um, yeah unfortunately the microphone is a bit behind me so uh, you won't be able to hear me all that well. But, um, yeah, I think that's all done for now. I've got to let it all dry 
Uh, also, here's all the stone work which I mentioned before. So I think it's looking rather nice. Added some uh, greenery for both of them. Only a little bit, so I may add some more, but I uh, may wait to add the uh, backboard. Anyway, I'm going to let it all dry and cool down for a bit, so uh, yeah, talk to you tomorrow. Right, here we are after doing some of the um, longer static grass little tufts of grass. Uh, this is using the static, applica uh, static grass applicator and I don't think it's well suited for this length of grass. I think I got the one which is actually suited for my usual uh, size which is no, 2mm. So I'm probably going to use the puffer bottle for my next batch of this lot. This is just um, no, just some uh, baking paper just glued on it just so I can use uh, the baking tray for the conductivity of the uh, static grass applicator. But um, yeah, other than that, um, I'll still probably use the baking tray just to give me something to stick down onto. But other than that, I have been working on the trees. I did have to order um, another thing, which is the hobby hobby e tack uh, adhesive to so, say um, I can stick down the foliage which you can see here it's rather nice I did try to use PVA glue but apparently it's not sticky enough so um, yes I've used something no some actually is designed to do this for so other than that I've got a fair few trees made up I'll just move the camera just slightly. Ooh. Move the mic, move the camera. There we go. I've got about 10 of them made already. And I've got um, many, many more to go. So, um, yes, I'll be getting on uh, doing that for a little while. So, um, I'll bring you back when, well actually I'll just do the little clip of me planting them when I'm done, so I'll see you in a bit, so there you are. Right, here we are, we've finished the plant work. Don't know whether to call it tree work or plant work, but pretty much done all of that now. As you can see, it's looking rather nice now. Uh, also, I've done a little bit of work over here by just marking out where some houses are meant to live. But, uh, yes, I'm quite happy with the trees so far. Uh, I do intend to add some more unique uh, unique looking trees as to um, add a bit of variety to as um, at the moment all I've got is uh, some good, no, light green trees and dark green trees so um, yeah I'll, I'll add a little bit of variety uh, over here I'm a bit undecided if I want to thin out the trees a little bit just so you can see the trains going past but uh, yes, quite happy so far. 
I might add some little other details later on when I'm you know, adding more details to these bit uh, spots, you know, adding you know, flowers and wild, wild growing things. But um, yeah, I think that's the most up. Uh, well, that's most work I'll be doing for a little while till I can get some extra de detail done. Uh, for the little tufts of grass, I think I might actually go for some longer uh, than four millimeter because um, as you can see, it's not really standing out all too well. I don't know, I've mostly used it to um, pluck up some patches of bare spots, but. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get something like six millimeter to make some longer you know, tufts and stuff like that. But uh, oh well, it adds a bit of variety. But uh, I'm really liking this spot at the moment. Be quite happy when it's all done. But if it ever gets all done. <laughs> anyway, this is Insane and Gospel Vlogs, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So feel free to subscribe, comment, and like the video if you really feel like it. And I'll see you again next time. So take care now. Bye-bye.